Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create a double exposure effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, I'm very aware there are different ways to create a double exposure, but I'm going to show you probably the harder way, because most people would say just key, uh, just key out like a white background. But in this case, I'm going to show you probably the more difficult way, but you can still create a really cool double exposure if you don't have like a really expensive light or a nice backdrop. This is definitely the more difficult way to do it, but that being said, you can still do it. So up here, I'm just going to show you the retime. Now this is a basically just a freeze frame. Now obviously if you want to be moving, if you want your character or your person to start moving, obviously you don't want to create a freeze frame. But in this instance, I decided to create a freeze frame just because it would be a lot simpler and I just wanted to basically just create like a very basic um, double exposure. Now what, you, what I just did was I created a draw mask. So as you can see right here, here is the draw mask. So I basically took the top layer, I put a freeze frame on it, and then I applied a draw mask. The draw mask is right here if you're wondering, in the effects panel, mask, and then the draw mask is right there. So you can see right here, I just applied a draw mask, and then I just cut myself out. I inverted the mask, and then I turned down the fill opacity. That way you could still see a little bit of me, and you could still um, see the video um, behind me. So it depends on how much fill opacity you want. Um, of course, that's all up to you. Now, as you can see, underneath is my footage. So let's go ahead and just disable the clip. Um, there you go. This is basically just a time lapse that I found off of Storyblocks, and it's in, it's one of the videos that I had in or one of the clips I had in my stock footage tutorial. So that's pretty much it. And then I just had a music track um, from Epidemic Sound, New Horizon by Hallman. I get all my music, all my sound effects from Epidemic Sound. Definitely go ahead and check them out. I'm not sponsored. I'm not, I'm not sponsored at all, but it just cost me about fifteen dollars a month to have to use music music for my YouTube channel my Instagram page basically all of my social media platforms but honestly that's pretty simple and easy it's really how you create a double exposure the top can be whatever you can either be frozen or you could be moving around in this case I just create a freeze frame you create a freeze frame by going to the speed option right here and clicking on hold but of course um, you could be moving and remember to put a draw mask around yourself invert the mask and turn down the fill opacity and of course if you're moving you you're gonna have to key for in the mask um, but that's just up to you and that just depends on if you want your double exposure to be moving and then underneath the clip just put your footage obviously it can be whatever you want but that's pretty much it that's how you create a double exposure you just cut out yourself and then put the footage underneath um, yourself and you have just created a very simple and easy double exposure anyways hopefully you enjoyed this this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative hopefully you learned something from this video or maybe this video inspired you to, to create your own kind of version of this um, but anyways thank you so much for watching the video if you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials make sure to hit that subscribe button I have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with almost 75 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials so definitely go ahead and check it out anyways I'll see you guys in the next one peace